Hi everyone, uh, it's Nicholas Sarwark, Chairman of the Libertarian National Committee. I'm actually here at my campaign headquarters for my mayoral campaign in Phoenix, Arizona on a Sunday. Campaigns, we've only got uh, just over two months to go until Election Day, so there's not an off day for any of our candidates. The reason I'm doing this live video uh, from the Libertarian Party page today is I wanted to say thank you. Uh, we don't say thank you enough to our volunteers and our candidates, and that's something that I'm hoping to get better at. Um, I want to thank everybody who's running for office. I know that you know about all of the high-profile races that are going on right now, the Senate campaigns and the gubernatorial campaigns, the really big-ticket races where you know it's hundreds of thousands of dollars and hundreds of volunteers and really high stakes and really high profile. And I don't want to take anything away from those kind of races. But what I want to talk to you about today are the lower level races. As you may know, the Libertarian Party is running over 837 candidates for public office in 2018. That is a 40% increase over 2016, which was a presidential year. The reason that's important is while the Republicans and the Democrats can fight us on one front or two fronts, it's harder for them to fight 837 fronts. We're able to make more of an impact by having a broader reach with our candidates. The other reason that it's important is the most important libertarian in the party is actually you, you who is watching this video right now, because you're the one who knows your neighbors. You're the one who knows your coworkers. You're the one who they trust to represent the libertarian message. And for all of the other candidates who have stepped up to run for office, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you from the whole libertarian party for stepping up to show a libertarian alternative. I want to talk about a few special races that I know are opportunities where we can have an amazing impact and get some people elected to office at that lower level, um, probably with a lot less money or time than it would take to get elected to the United States Senate or to Congress. People like Gideon Oaks in South Dakota, um, Sid Dowd in Montana, Amber Beltran in Utah, uh, Aaron Aylward in South Dakota, and Bethany Baldas in Wyoming. These are some state house races or some local races where people have the opportunity to win with you know, a spending level that's under $10,000 with just a few people volunteering. Um, there are the other races like uh, Jeremiah Morell in Indiana is running for council. Andrew Freeborg is running for council in Ward 9 in um, Washington State. Uh, actually, no, Oregon, I think. Pretty sure it's Oregon. He'll, he'll let you know in the comments, I'm sure. Um, but I want to talk about volunteers. Volunteers are the heart of libertarian campaigns. They're the heart of every political campaign, no matter what party you're in. If you don't have boots on the ground, you don't really have a campaign. You have a message, but you don't have the campaign. And there is an opportunity for you who don't live near one of these candidates to volunteer and help out. Obviously, if you live in Phoenix or even anywhere in Arizona, you should totally be down at my campaign office with me right now. Um, similarly, if you live in South Dakota, you should be helping somebody in South Dakota, things like that. Definitely go local if you can, but if you can't, if you're not somewhere like where Chrissy Witchers is in Ohio and you can't go march in a parade with her, what you can do is sign up to phone bank. Um, sign up to volunteer Joe Hanush for uh, Florida State House District 25, always out there and active. Sign up to Phone Bank. The Libertarian Party has set up a phone banking system where you can volunteer from anywhere in the country to help some of these smaller races, to help identify and get people out to the polls. That's the place where you can be most effective is in helping these places where your effort will go so far to get somebody into a state house, into a town council, into county level office, and set the stage for 2020. I've often told people in the media that how well we do in 2018 determines how well we do in 2020. The work we do now determines how well we can do later. 
So if you can't um, run for office yourself for whatever reason, definitely volunteer either for a campaign locally or go to lp.org to sign up to volunteer and phone bank. If you can commit just one hour a week between now and election day, which is only, gosh, that's like a nine week commitment. You can totally do that. If you can commit that one hour a week, you can be the difference between a libertarian who ran a good campaign and a libertarian who's now serving in a state legislature. So definitely go out and do that. Do the phone banking. If you can't do phone banking, you don't have the time. I get it. I have four small kids myself. Donate. Everyone who is running for office can use your money and your money can translate directly into votes. I will tell you, 20 bucks to a campaign translates into, I think, we just did the math on our print order. That's about 300 door hangers, right? Those are 300 pieces of literature that a campaign volunteer can go out and give to a voter in the district. And that is the most impactful way to reach a voter. It's not Facebook ads. It's not TV ads. It's not radio ads. It's not that air war. It's one-on-one -on -one contact with a voter at the door. So go out, volunteer, run for office, donate, um, you know, the other alternative is you can spend all of your time on Facebook. And if you spend your time on Facebook, you're going to win nothing. So go out and help libertarians win. Get off the keyboards. Get out in your community. Get on the phones. Knock on the doors. Let's have some really impressive results here in November. And thank you again from the bottom of my heart from all the Libertarian Party for running for office.